welcome back to the channel and are you ready for wall ride pain because this course behind me here is a lot of wall riding and i have to build well i've already i've actually already built a vehicle hopefully the vehicle holds up but here's what we're in for for this episode i think it's pretty clear that we have a starting checkpoint here we gotta ride up on this wall and then we gotta spiral up this tunnel go out here uh spiral up this tunnel go out here and we get a checkpoint once we get past this point looks like we got a transition down here and i don't know wait why are there multiple ways to go is this a maze as well all right this is wall ride map number two by necessary evil 97 and this doesn't say anything about multiple ways to go it does say that there is uh it, be it behaves better than wall ride one if you guys missed wall ride one you might want to check that out but uh when you get here it looks like you have a possibility of just going straight oh wait oh oh i see now this i for some reason when i came in through here i thought this connected with that it does not so you have to go this way and use this to then turn around oh this is a cool design and then you go okay i'm back on track and you go up the wall you keep going up the wall uh okay and then you go this way then this arrow points down all right i think it looks like this is crazy there's switchbacks on this thing that i i'm sure like a lot of the comments on the last videos mentioned track mania i'm sure these are all standard practice in track mania i haven't really played track mania with like wall riding and stuff so i gotta figure out this stuff being as a first timer here but it looks like i'm supposed to go this way when i go in and then i have to figure out how to transition and reverse my direction my spiral in this tube so i'm thinking if i spiral my way to the top then with enough downforce if i turn straight down if i can turn sharp enough then i can switch back the other way and then i come out this way go up across this thing i believe there we go and we go this way over that around here and that's a very skinny transition now the comments did tell me how i'm supposed to do these transitions without needing to have a built-in gyro so apparently i gotta ride my wheels off this edge which will then cause me to rotate around catch this wall uh uh wait is that right oh wait a minute no this is there's no way so wait, wait i i really i missed a, cr a crazy transition we go around this thing come down here all right so then we're supposed to like go and then like hit this then we do this transition but then we're going down here and you go off where's the end of this how do i get over here this is a very confusing course i actually i genuinely don't understand how it works oh there's the end the end is over here here let's Let's try to reverse engineer the ending. So we're coming from here. Wait a minute, I just realized this spiral has a broken, a whole side that's broken. You know what? Let's hop on the course and see what happens. All right, so this is my wall ride vehicle. Let's see if it's still got what it does, got to do. All right, we're going first person because that was what worked best. All right, here we go. Good so far. All right, we go up and I went too high. Good start. All right, take two. Great start. All right, take three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we actually did have a kind of a good start compared to where it's going from there. All right, come on. What? Oh, my wheels are doing weird, inconsistent things uh, on that initial transition. I'm just starting from here. I'm not going through the actual checkpoint at the start. All right, here we go. There we go. Right, then we go to like here yeah we don't go all the way up wait why didn't i have enough downforce i had enough downforce to wall ride like that on the previous course whoa okay here we go no all right oh look at the wheel you see that the wheels aren't handling the transition very well how's my suspension i think i have my suspension on max oh i don't let's put my suspension on max all right here we go 
Okay. All right. I don't know where the, there's the exit. I don't know what's going on. All right, now we're riding the wall. Okay, now we need to get back into first person. I think uh, the suspension thing may have fixed the vehicle or I just got really lucky. And up we go. Good transition. Yeah, we're sticking to the wall. And then what? Go up to here. Oh, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more downforce. We're gonna have to make slight modifications as we go. So we're at 20 degrees. Let's go 25 degrees downforce. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my wheels by having too much downforce. That didn't feel great. Did you see? Hold on. My wheel. Did you see that? My wheel just boomeranged around and came back onto my vehicle. I definitely feel like the suspension might be an issue, but I do think I need the suspension. I'm pretty sure I tested it without suspension and it was not good. But here, let's just remove the suspension right now. All right, how's this vehicle feel with no suspension? Oh, it flips. It flips with no suspension. Well, what if I have lower center of mass? All right, am I too close to the ground on this one? I don't know. Let's see how this one feels. There we go. Feels great on flat ground, but these curves. Okay. All right, we're going now. Oh, the wheels are so glitchy. Oh. I'm going to swap the front steering for these racing hinges. All right, is this any better? No. My vehicle is not suited for this course right now. I'm going to reload my first design here because this one was actually better than what I have right now. Gonna move these wheels front, put stiffness on one. That's not okay. That's not okay. What's happening with the wheel there? The creator had their vehicle. I think I still have that. Yeah, how does their vehicle not deal with that? Okay, well that's a whole different issue. I'm literally stuck. That's probably why there's a uh, this angle that you gotta approach it with. Oh, I forgot to activate the downforce. Not having any better luck with this vehicle. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay. First person, please. All right. Well, this is kind of working so far. Let's see if we can pull it off. Oh, stay, 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 stay. Okay, do I go down here? All right, we got a checkpoint. I think I gotta go this way, right? Yeah, oh, this vehicle's working. What am I doing? Oh, go, 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 go. Okay. All right, we got a checkpoint, so that's good. All right, uh, I couldn't use the, uh, the original creator's vehicle on the first course, but this is working way better for this particular course. It probably was, it probably had been tuned for this course since this is the most recent one. All right, so now what do I have to do? I gotta go this way. Gotta go that way, that way, and then stay up here. There we go. And then, what am I doing? Am I doing the right thing? What am I doing? Oh, I don't go that way yet. I gotta go around the turn. Oh, that is confusing. Okay, so I go this way. I stay on this wall. Actually, either way does work. Never mind. either way works. They're both gonna loop me back around where I need to be. Okay, here we go. Well, that's not working. All right, come on, here we go. All right, I'm gonna stay straight on this wall. All right, let me go around. What was that? I went backwards while I was going forwards. Come on, come on, stay on, stay on. Here we go, here we go. All right, don't go backwards. I'm pressing forwards. Here we go. All right, I have to go the other way. This is, I, I read it the wrong way. We gotta go the other way. All right, here we go. So the first way, we gotta go up here. And then we stay on this level. <gasps> and then we go back this way. All right, all right, all right, yes. And then we gotta go up here. And I don't know what I'm doing next. Okay, go here. And then we stay down. And then this is where I gotta do some type of weird transition that I don't understand yet. All right, I'm just gonna go as high as I can. And then drop down and try to turn and go back this way. I got a checkpoint there. And then we go up 
to here and then I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, wait, do I go, do I go that away? Yes. Oh, I kind of like knew it, but then I messed up. All right, so I think this is my next checkpoint. We're doing, we did good there. We had a good run there. All right, so does this checkpoint not apply to going that direction? I got to do this big thing again. Oh, he had to put a blocker on this checkpoint. All right. All right, good start. All right, great. Great second start. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we're on. Let me go down and turn as sharp as we can. All right, let me go back. Okay. This is disorienting. Let me go here. Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Eh, knock them out. Go up, go up, go up, go up. All right, what do I do now? What do I do now? I stay. <gasps> no, the course did that to me. I think after I go up, I go around. All right, I go around and I go up just a little bit more. Yeah. Oh. I can't transition now. Like, this should be just a simple, let's get back on the course, but... I I can't do it. There we go. All right, we're, we're back on. We're back on. All right, ready? Transition down. Turn. Let me go back here. Yes. Okay, and we go up. We stay on this. Please stay. Stay. <gasps> it happened again. This seam messes me up. Am I on the wrong path? No, I'm not on the wrong path. That is definitely, that's like the only way to go. Okay, I'm so close to another checkpoint. I really need this to work. All right, please don't mess me up, seam. Here it is. Oh, oh, then up a little bit. Yes. New checkpoint incoming. Don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. All right, and now, whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is going to be, I think this is going to be one of the hardest parts of the course. And then I have no idea after this part is when I just couldn't figure out what the course even intended. But I'm going to come up with my own thing if I can't figure out the natural thing. All right, so this transition should actually be easier or slower. So I'm going to go like this. Oh, should probably activate the downforce too. All right, I kind of feel like I need enough speed for this. So I'm going to like back up. And because I'm coming down here and then, oh, that was perfect. Oh, and then I got to go like this. Almost. Hey, that was actually it felt more doable than I was expecting it to feel. I thought that was going to be really hard. I may have gotten lucky, though. Let's see if I can replicate that, but better. This, this transition went really well, too. Having more speed definitely helped. All right, here we go. Transition. Oh, go down, go down, go down. And then, oh, that you didn't. Do it well. It's hard to tell what I needed to do differently there. Should I go off the top instead of the bottom? I feel like if I go off the top, I might be too high to merge. All right, here it goes again. Oh, man, my wheels glitched in. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Hey! <laughs> I'm upside down. All right, let me take a look at this upper part. If I go up instead... I'm doing the upper part. The upper part actually looks more reasonable. I think I went, chose wrong with the lower part. I was just trying to follow gravity is all. All right, and... That seemed more doable. This seemed more promising, but I feel like I'm not rotating fast enough and I feel like it's because it's just like a perfectly straight platform. If it had like a curve to it, then as I went over the edge, that curve would essentially push into my wheels as I fly over it. But because I'm going straight, when I get over the edge, there's nothing continuing my momentum over the edge, really. Right, there we go. And then over the edge. Oh, I landed on my wheels, but I did not have the speed. This is starting to feel, oh no, I teleported all the way back down here. This is starting to feel a little bit harder. All right, we're down. Then... Oh. Come on. I feel like I need to go off of the ramp as late as possible in order to maintain the most amount of momentum as possible, but then I don't have enough time to rotate. But if I go off too soon, 
then I lose all of my, I lose traction with the ground and just slow down too much to then grip the wall once I hit it. But then I have enough time to do that rotation. So I need to either figure out how to rotate faster or get lucky. Yeah, see, that's what happens if I go off last minute. But you can see, like, I got so much grip now that I stay on the wall even upside down. Or not so much grip, but so much speed that I stay on the wall even when I'm upside down. But if I go too soon... Oh, go! Oh, then I, like, I don't... I lose my momentum and I start falling down instead of going forward. I'm going to try the bottom section again. Go like this, and then... Hmm. All right, come on. Get it! Oh, I just bounce off. All right, maybe I'll turn my uh, downforce off as soon as I leave the wall. All right, we go. And then downforce off. And the downforce on. <gasps> what am I doing? All right, ready? Oh, get, stop, stop, stop. No. Does this count? I was just gonna go this, I was just gonna stop and go that way. Right, I'll try it again, I'll try it again. I didn't like pass the checkpoint, so I won't take it. But that, now, I kinda wanna do that so I can see if what I just did was luck or if I can replicate that. Did Was this the correct assumption or did I just get lucky? All right, here we go. Now we go over, turn it down for us off. Now turn it on. It feels like it's kind of working. All right. Downforce off. Mm, nope, that's not going to do it. Downforce off. Downforce on. That is actually, it seems to be like a method. All right, now we got to like turn this way. This is like a weird part of the course. It seems to kind of interrupt the flow a little bit. And then what are we doing? We're going down like this. And then what? We go this way. And go back up. And then over here. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. And then we go this way. Uh, I don't know what's going on. This is the part I couldn't figure out, isn't it? Okay, so we go down. We turn around this. We go that way. Then, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We turn, we got to turn down and then go that way. We're almost there. I, I think this next part is very doable compared to what we were just dealing with. All right, I think I know what I gotta do. This one, like, you have to know what's coming for this. You can't just, like, improvise. We can't just on-site what's in front of you on this one. All right, uh, where am I going? Oh, yeah, I'm going up here. And then here's where I gotta kind of... No! Why'd you do that to me? All right, here we go. Eh. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful. Careful now. All right, and then we go back up to here. All right, here we go. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. We go here. And we get to the end of that. We turn around. Come on, turn. Oh, don't lose too much speed. <gasps> this could be it. This could be it. Don't mess me up, horse. Don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. That was the last turn. You see, that was, that was my fault. You can see right where I went wrong there. That was my fault. This tire mark. This tire mark needed to be down where this tire mark is. That was literally the last turn before the finish. Uh. All right, but I know where I'm going now. All right, this is it. If the course hasn't messed me up, I got this. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's very simple. Be nice to me, course. Be nice. I'm trying to play with you. Don't you want to be friends? Don't you want to work together? It's taunting me. Horse is just messing with me now. All right, we're going to be friendly this time. I'm sorry for everything I said. Let's work together. We can do it. See, look. Look how far we can go if we work together. All right, here we go. Ready, and turn. Whoa, don't spin out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's actually do the right path this time. There we go. Oh, it was so easy that time. And we go down. And we're in for the finish, finally. Oh. That felt so smooth that time. So easy. It really, that last section wasn't really hard. Figuring out where to go was like the hardest part. But just the, the physics inconsistencies on the course were the biggest nightmare here. 
And unfortunately, that's one of the reasons why I am not motivated to try to do the whole thing in one go. Now, if it was just user error, if it was just my own mistakes that were keeping me from finishing the course, I would just throw myself at this thing for an, for an hour and a half until I finally got it. But the fact that I could do everything perfectly and then the course just is like and throws me off until we get better, uh, more reliable mod terrain physics. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm sticking to the checkpoints. Checkpoints are there for a reason. And that reason is this course is a bully. So thanks for your comments on the last one. I was able to uh, use the creator's original vehicle. Doesn't have any rotation controls in it. And I got to do that cool transition that I had no idea was a thing until the comments brought it to my attention. So now I got to do it the legit way this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know. And uh, I don't, there's not any other wall ride courses that I saw like this right now, but if it does, if this video does well and you guys liked it, then I'll keep an eye out for some more. But if you guys enjoyed it, you'll probably enjoy some more you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.